central tap transformer you can see uh, this is a primary which is having two windings and the secondary you are having three windings i had already explained about the principle of working so let us test by using multimeter i kept the multimeter in uh, resistance mode or uh, you can see here if you are dip using different transformer you can also vary the depending upon uh, your re resistance value so I already explained about how to use this multimeter in my previous lectures if you want to see that you can also you take a help of those videos so let us start so I will measure it just I will keep this as it's a primary I'm getting a value it's varying continuously because my hand resistance also adding so around 928 ohms around 928 ohms at the primary winding okay I will write primary equal to 928 ohms okay so now uh, we have to measure the secondary where secondary we are having two windings right so this is between this is one and two I have to measure between these two and these two so let us measure these two uh, because between these two there will be equal resistance these two equal resistance what I explained in the principle so let us see that if you are a lover of technical videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more videos of this kind see guys the resistance doesn't have any polarity so you can connect anywhere uh, and you will get the resistance value okay you're getting around 33 ohms okay between these two windings you're getting 33 between ground and uh, the upper uppermost and you are getting 33 ohms so I will write 33 ohms now I will just change the probes I will just uh, shift to lower probe uh, lower windings of the transformer uh, these two windings so I will getting value So I'm getting value around so I'm getting a value around 36 39 ohms so the equal almost equal resistances in terms of ohms I'm getting one is 38 and 39 this transformer is uh, central tapped one so it must be having equal resistances in theory but in practical uh, it's nearly equal let's test this transformer so it's a primary winding so it must be having greater resistance and secondary winding must have lesser resistance how to identify primary and secondary this is a major impact on these type of transformers because only two windings are there you have to identify with these two primary is also having two secondary is also having two there is no called central tap one so you need to be very careful in such transformers if you connect secondary to primary and primary to secondary then uh, there may be a disaster that will be happen with you okay so you have to be careful with such, such transformers which is having uh, only two windings at the secondary now let us test it I set the range to 2000 ohms but it's not showing it's showing out of range so I will shift the knob to 20k uh, you can see here I shift the knob to 20k now it may be uh, showing the value for it I hope yeah it's more than 2, 2k so it's not showing the value for the previous dial so it's showing the value that's 2.59k is primary winding resistance let us write it Okay, now we have to measure the secondary so secondary windings where it has connected in the board we have to identify it so I hope this and this is a secondary this and this pin is secondary uh, because the PCB board by looking at the PCB connection this is secondary 
so 0.01 k uh, let me check the accuracy with lesser resistance dial settings i will shift to lower resistance lower resistance and i will measure the value it's very less it's 7.4 ohms it's 7.3 ohms the secondary winding having the resistance of 7.3 ohms secondary is having 7.3 ohms it's in terms of kilo ohms so there are different kind of calibrations in transformers uh, which will be having different resistances i just measured this transformer resistance primary is 2.58 kilo ohms secondary is 7.3 ohms so it's a very easiest method to identify uh, which one is primary and which one is secondary i hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot thank you for watching my video if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for latest update of my videos if you are a technical lover then you must do these two things